Bronzy, just in case you didn't know. Welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So you already know what today is. Today is collab day. So me and Miss Galore are collabing with some foils today and yeah, it was a hot mess for me, but we got through it. So make sure you go and subscribe to Miss Galore's channel so you can see her uh nail set that she did with the foils and go ahead and follow her instagram we do post on instagram before we post on youtube so make sure you follow us to get the exclusive all right as you see right here i am using these foils i did get these foils out uh, i did get these foils from uh glitz and accessories and such out of their monthly subscription box they don't just have i mean they do have monthly subscription box they, they also have other things that you can get you don't have to just get the monthly subscription box they do have other stuff they have acrylics they have gel polishes they have nail tools they have everything nail charms everything so <laughs> Okay, these dollar sign nail charms, I did get them from Shein. And I do have a haul uh, showing these nail charms. And I will leave the cards up above if you guys want to check out that haul. And these, I will be using these nail tips again. And I do have them on my Amazon storefront if you'd like to check these out. Right now, these are my go-to. These are some 3XL full cover square and I love them. They are so light. They're very doable. The quality is really good. And um, yeah, so I will be using these. They are a no C curve nail tip. There are they are plastic and they are really really good All right, quality. So we're going to do like a little small review of this nail lamp that I won in a giveaway from Melody Susie. I think it was like in February or March. I don't know. I think it's time for me to have an upgrade. So I just pulled this out for these for this video because I know that you need a stronger uh, wattage for to use the foils so that the foils will work right. But um, yeah, so um, I'm just showing you the user manual here. And um, just if you want to pause the video to check out the instructions and everything, uh, just a quick little review of that. Okay, so here I'm just pulling everything that comes in the box. You have your cord that goes in the back of the lamp. And we're going to pull out the lamp itself. Um, the lamp is very light when I poured it out of the box and um, I like how it comes in, in this little bag to, to protect the lamp. It's really pretty. Uh, I really did like this body size. The size was cute and you can go ahead and pull out the bottom of it. It is magnetic and it does have a 30 a 60 and a 90 second button and this is the fan in the back and this is where the plug goes in and these are the lights at the bottom I believe there's 30 yeah I counted 30 and yeah I really like it it's really cute really sleek good quality so I'm going to go ahead and put back on <laughs> the uh, the bottom of it like I said it is magnetic You see me struggling a little bit right there, but. All right, we finally got it together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in so we can see how it look. All 
right so i don't know why that is blinking but it doesn't blink i guess it is because of the camera i'm not sure why but it doesn't blink in in uh, real life or not wise not you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't blink wise on the camera. Not on camera. I don't know. I thought that that little tab. I don't know what that little tab was. If it was to keep the little window intact. I don't know. But it kind of. I was trying to see that it had like the little plastic thing. that goes um, across the window. So that's why you saw me kind of picking it. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And do the nails right here. I am fouling the, t the tip of the nail around the nail so that way it can look more natural um, by the cuticle area and I already have my peel off base on so I'm going to go ahead and apply one layer of the uh, SSXC gel okay so after I applied my glue I did flash cure it for no I did uh, actually flash flash cure it for like two seconds maybe three and that way I can like I can um, clean up any spillage around the cuticle area and I went ahead and did two fingers on camera and I did the rest of the fingers off camera and um, after I did the uh, for all the fingers I did put it under the big lamp for 60 seconds all right, so here you see I am filing the nails, getting ready for the application of the transfer foil and I will put a uh, thin layer of um, base coat on all the nails and cure that for 30 seconds. So let's get on to the transfer foils. So I thought I would pick these. I thought this graffiti, it kind of remind me of graffiti bridge. I don't know if you've seen like um, Prince's video, not video, but his movie. I believe it's called uh, graffiti, graffiti bridge or something like that. I don't know. It kind of remind me of, of that, um, that movie didn't do too well, but um, it did remind me of that. I like uh, all the things that you know was on this transfer foil and mind you guys this is like my first time doing transfer foil um, I have tried in the past but it did not work out for me but like when I was practicing I didn't like record it or anything but it didn't work out for me so this was a big challenge for me but I really did enjoy doing these foils so um, uh, yeah so I did put a um, it wasn't really the first one nail I didn't put like a thin layer that's where I messed up at I, I was supposed to put like a thin layer and I didn't and you will see what will happen it didn't come out good it came out wrinkled see right there yeah and I don't know if you notice or if it's just me maybe it's just me I don't know maybe it's the angle of how I had my finger but it did look like I had like a little it did look like it had a little yellow tint to the nail but it's okay it's going to get covered anyway but um so here I am applying the foil and uh, you want to make sure that you rub it in really good you know I did have some spots that you know didn't um stick to the foil the foil glue but I did use this uh, tool to you know press down the foil to my nails and um, make sure when you do this you lift it up really slow so that way if it didn't stick to the nail you can kind of if it didn't stick to the nail you can um, push it back down and you know use this tool to rub it in some more but the first one you know you know the first one always is the trial this is a trial and tribulation child so the first one didn't I mean it turned out good but it didn't turn out good I did have some that didn't stick and I went back to try to stick it up there but the second one did really good I did have a little bit of wrinkle on the sides of the nails I I made sure that I put 
like a thin layer up there and like i said girl this is woo child this was a challenge for me but i really like i said i really did enjoy doing these nails and i did like these foils i will be doing some foils again because i need to practice i need to get good at it you know i need i need to conquer this guys i need to conquer this so uh, i will let you go ahead and i will stop blabbering on and let you guys go ahead and watch and i will be back when i'm getting ready to uh do the nail polish and the nail charm Pretty brown girl, her space. You can keep your bitter. I'ma make a better way. Hey, hey. Already got the world on me. Give a pretty brown girl her space. You can keep your bitter. I'ma make a better way. So we're going to go ahead and apply this beautiful gel polish from Beatles. I will be applying it to my pinky, my index finger, and my thumb. And I do apply the second coat off a camera. Off a camera. I do apply the second coat off camera and I do cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, girl, don't she look cute? She do look cute. All right, so we're going to go ahead and apply um, some top coat, and we're going to apply these nail charms that I received from Shein. Well, not received, but that I bought from Shein. Just pulled up to the house. Don't feel like it now. I'ma just lay back and crack this window. All right, so as you can see here, I do apply these beautiful charms to my pinky, my index finger, and I do apply some rhinestones to my cuticle area. They was looking kind of boring, but I didn't record that part because it was like at the last minute. All right, guys, this video is coming to an end. Please don't forget to head over to Miss Galore's channel, check her out, check out what foil set she did and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all on my next video toodles mom and dad's only daughter do i make